What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah, also known as Slaterella. Let's go ahead and get started on this really glam little red riding hood. So the first thing that I went ahead and did is take some fake skin. I warmed it up in my hands. I just bought this at a Halloween store. It was super inexpensive. And then I just rolled it out into this flat flap of skin-like shape and just stuck that right onto my face. Made another one and kind of connected them at the edge. The next thing that I went ahead and did was smooth out the sides. This seriously guys took me forever to do. I definitely struggled with it. So if you do this, you might struggle, maybe you won't, but once I figured out how to do it, everything went a lot smoother and I got things done a lot quicker. The next thing that I did was I went ahead and set everything because this is so sticky. You have to set it with powder before you can touch it with anything. After that, I was kind of contemplating how I wanted to do this one above my eye, but what I actually ended up doing was just taking a small piece, flattened it out, really pushed it into my skin, and then I actually just took my nail and then kind of cut in the center of it, just like that to kind of give it the same appearance and it worked out really well. I wish I actually would have done the other ones like that. After that, I went ahead and just laid down liquid latex all over the edges. Do not put liquid latex over your eyebrow like I did. I don't know why I did that. It was stupid, I'm lucky I still have my eyebrow hair. After that, I went ahead and just put some foundation all over the glam half of my face. Set everything with powder. Be really, really careful not to get your brush in the liquid latex. You will ruin your brushes. Look at me being all daring, girl. You should know better than that. Went ahead and cut out my cheekbones. We still wanna be bronzy, even if we have a cut on our face. Girl still needs to look good. Go ahead and contour the nose. After that, I just took a heavy hand and some blush and warmed up those cheeks. This is a fairy tale look, guys. So we wanna be really rosy, really flush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my regular eyebrow pomade and I'm just gonna go ahead and carve out the brows. For shadow, I'm actually just going in with my bronzer. The main focus of this look was the cut on the other side of my face, so I didn't wanna take away from it too much. Went ahead and highlighted my brow bone highlighted the inner corner, tip of the nose, and then my cupid's bow. Let's go ahead and apply some wing and a set of lashes. I actually ended up adding a little bit of black to the crease, and I did glam up the other eye just a little bit. Obviously, that eye won't be naked. You still are gonna have something on it. And now I'm just taking some water-activated paints and just using a red and a black to kind of um, color in those cuts and then I just went in with a little bit more highlight. Now at this point I went in with some color corrector right where that liquid latex was. Liquid latex does have a tendency of drying a little bit lighter so make sure that you do color correct where it's more white that way when you go over it with your foundation everything blends a lot better. You don't have such a, a difference everything looks more natural. And then I just went ahead and took my regular foundation that I was using before. And you don't need to be too detailed with this. The reason being is you're gonna cover it up with other paint anyways and we go in with the bruising, the blood, all of that. So just get the gist of it, but you still wanna do it because it needs to look real. <laughs> After that, I just took a makeup sponge and some purple mixed with black, also water activated paint and kind of got that bruising effect. Then I went in a little too heavy handed with the yellow, but it was fine. Um, like I said, these are all water activated paints. So use that to your advantage. You can wet these, blend them out, smudge them out, add a little bit of water if you need to lighten them a little bit. Water activated paints are really, really good to start off with if you're not used to other type of paints or special effects makeup in general. You see me going in, patting everything out, and now I'm just taking some clotted blood. I went ahead and already put that into those flaps of skin, and now I'm just taking it around those flaps, adding it, pushing it in, smudging it out. You want that effect, it's not gonna be perfect. Cuts are all organic, so if you make it too perfect, it is not gonna look right. So don't be afraid, go in. There's no right or wrong way to do it. After that, I just went ahead and took some Red Rum Velour Liquid Lipstick by Jeffree Star. This is the perfect little Red Riding Hood liquid lipstick, but honestly, you could use any red lipstick that you want. 
and then applied my wig as well as my red cape and then I just decided once I had everything on wasn't enough blood so I took that q-tip added some extra blood kind of put it all over smeared it out made this look really really gory I think what makes this look so intense or so pretty is the fact that you do have that glam eye but the main focus of this piece is gonna be that cut so you want to make sure that you really get the point across it looks gory and as real as you can make it look but that completes this look you guys I hope that you enjoyed it make sure that you subscribe to my channel before you leave I'm gonna try and make 13 looks for the month of October I think this is gonna be my number one look so hopefully you guys are watching this in October and not September because you know I'm impatient but I hope you guys have a good rest of the day leave a comment down below what you want to see next and I will see you guys in my next video bye mm -hmm.